Hi everyone. Uh, so we're going back into um, Poland, and uh, we just—I mean—the line is ridiculous. There's at least four or five thousand people standing on the Ukrainian side. These are the lines Vitaly Smolin and his wife Natalie witness as they enter Poland from Ukraine to make their supply deliveries to Ukrainians left in the country. The couple are American missionaries based in Ukraine. They've been documenting their journey since Russia first began its attack. So I'll keep you posted as soon as I have boots on the ground. Thank Hours so after a limited everybody. ceasefire agreement between the countries, Ukrainians reported civilians were still being killed by Russian troops. I wish I had something nice to say. I mean, I'm so full of anger right now. Um, I'm in Lviv. We're back in Ukraine. It is safe here. We're getting slaughtered. This is not a war. I keep repeating, this is not a war, so don't confuse a war with slaughter. This is genocide. The Smolins, along with their group of volunteers on both sides of the shared border between Poland and Ukraine, are gathering protective gear, medical supplies, and food. But even they are putting themselves at risk. We were in the meetings and all of a sudden sirens are going off and we're in the basement. So um, God is good and he's going to protect us and just keep praying for us. Their hope is that prayer is heard by government officials here at home. We just need everybody else to step in. We, start, we need to start asking politicians to stop just being deeply disturbed and actually do something about this.